Hey YouTube, welcome back to day 13 of our 14 day winter challenge where we are aiming to create a winter wonderland themed island. The rules are simple, we need to start and finish our new island in only 14 days. Time travel is okay and we're not allowed to use Nintendo Switch Online. As always, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have an awesome day and I hope you enjoy. Okay, we are on day 13, so we're in our last two days. I have a little bit of catching up to show you. Um, I've made some slight alterations to this area here. You can see we kind of have the sleighs looking a bit more like sleighs now with the rope fence. I think that looks really cool. It's about as close to a sleigh as we're going to get, I think. Next up, we have a few custom panels here. Um, I'm still playing around with the design. I don't really know what the final design will look like, um, but I've just tested a few here. We are gonna have to customize every single one probably. And I've just put some fences behind the goals. I thought that was kind of a cool idea um, because if pucks or things are gonna go flying at the goals, you wanna protect the crowds. Uh, so we've just done a few little details here and wait for it. I actually moved hard back to the original location um, because we did put some trees behind there and it brought Han's house forward but it was really far forward that you couldn't even see the trees anyway um, so I thought it looked better as it was buried in the cliff it's a real real shame we can't get bushes or trees on top of the final cliff there um, the glitch has been patched so there's just no way to do it anymore so I moved Han's house back and I think that's the best way it's going to look now today, I thought it'd be really cool to kind of utilize this area here a little bit. This is one of the most wide open spaces here. And I thought we could make a kind of castle ruins. Maybe not ruins, but somewhat of a castle where inside is basically a snow building competition. So this is where everyone's going to come on the island to have fun and build snow boys and things like that. So I've got a few castle pieces and I also ordered some more from the Nook Stop. So we'll go and get those from the mailbox. As you can see, I've been buying lots of things from the Nook Stop um, just to fill in some areas. We've got some more bubble machines that we'll use for the Winter Wonderland walk up to the campsite. Uh, but more importantly, we've got some more castle pieces as well. Okay, I think the first thing we should do is remove everything from this area. We're not going to be using hardwood trees anyway, so we'll just get rid of these. Don't worry, we'll replace them. Okay, that's all the trees cut down. We're just gonna, we're gonna replace them, but we just need a big area to work with, I think, because I'm not sure how big this castle needs to be. Okay, now we'll drop some of the castle walls and the towers to see what we're working with. Now, I thought we should do a castle because although the pieces are really expensive and it takes a quite a lot of bells to buy loads they are fairly easy to come by when you're just constantly time traveling because if you check the nook stop every day eventually they appear so we're just going to drop some towers down and see whoa <laughs> yep i forgot just how big they are but that's okay we'll move it into the corner as far as we can go let's see what space we're dealing with here We've got four towers, so I was thinking four corners, and these were the most expensive ones, so we may as well use them if we can. Uh, but maybe they need to be further towards the back of the island. Maybe we need to get rid of this arch. Not arch, ramp even. Yeah, we don't want it too close. I think this needs to be kind of the start of it, doesn't it? Okay, it's possible we might not even need all four, uh, depending on whether we keep the slope or not. Hmm, we've only got one castle gate, so that definitely has to be the front doesn't it? There we go. I don't know if we've got enough room here, actually. Oh, we might be okay. Oh, this is very satisfying. Okay, I've moved it down a bit, so it's closer to when you first come over the bridge. Okay, this is kind of the main area. It looks like we need to buy some more castle walls, but I'll have to get some more bells to do that because we're pretty much broke. Eventually, we'll have another wall down here, maybe, or maybe it's okay to have it all open like this. I don't know. Now, given we are, of course, using the items we come across, and the items we find on our island during the challenge, we've got this free sign, which I guess is gonna be free entry to anyone who wants to come and build snowboys. So I guess we should probably try and get some snowboys over here. 
don't worry, we do have the recipe for the snow person um, figure and the sculpture as well. So we can craft some of those and put them in there. But I just think it would be cool if we start putting some snow boys in there ourselves. So if we can get the snowballs there. I can't find the other snowball. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, I can't find the other snowball anywhere. I looked literally everywhere behind every tree and it's just not here. So I guess it's not spawning in. I even entered and exited some buildings. Buildings, it's still not spawning in, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but luckily, we have some recipes that we can craft to make this area look a little bit more like a snow person building area. We'll use the crafting bench inside our house for these ones, just because we're going to need access to all the materials we've got in our storage. Okay, we have crafted a whole bunch of items. We've even customized a few of them as well and earned some much needed Nook Miles as well doing it. So we're going to go ahead and just start to decorate this castle area. And basically what I thought was a really cool idea was to use some of the tree standees to make it look a bit more like a kind of a family area where people can come for fun. So it's not so much a castle but a fun castle, I guess. I thought it'd be cool to make the outside look just a little bit more inviting. And then inside, we've got a few grass standees as well, just to continue the theme throughout the, the castle. We might have to move this giant snowball out of the way, because I have no idea where its partner is. Now we have a whole bunch of these three-tiered snow person. We might end up having to move this further back, you know. There we go. And actually, the slope looks kind of cool. It looks like it's part of the castle almost. Let's go do some more crafting. I'm starting to feel the pressure. <laughs> okay, I have a few more things crafted now just to make it look a bit more like a competition area where people are kind of competing to make the best snow figure possible. Okay, I think we don't need this snowball. We're going to have to get rid of it. Sacrifice the snowball. There it goes. <laughs> it's melting! <laughs> well, that's something I've never done before, but there we go. You can push snowballs into the sea. I think we need to have some sort of shop here as well, don't we? Some sort of stool. Stool selling, uh, like, foods and things like that. Oh, finally, the other snowball decided to spawn in. Oh, no, wait. No, this is the one we destroyed. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking before we lay any more furniture, we actually need to kind of dedicate some areas. It's like a stage or something like that. We just need to put some paths down. Uh, to kind of divide up the areas a little bit. And we'll use my favorite at the moment, the wooden path. And we'll just lay some, if it will let me, <laughs> some down here. Just it's going to be kind of the, the winner's area, I guess. Where the trophies and the stools will be held. There we go. And as usual, just round off the corners just to make it look a little bit neater. And we can put some, maybe some stools here, I think. There we go. I think the trophy case could probably still go to the back. There we go. That, we've just got a bit of a staging area now. I think that works quite well. There we go. And then maybe up here we can have some of the frozen treats that we've crafted. For sale. Then maybe... We've also got a snow person head. <laughs> which is a pretty cool item. So I feel like that would be on display or available for sale. Around the area where everyone's come together for a fun day out. Um, to make snow boys. I've never really been a fan of these standees, but this works. They work in this environment really, really well, I think. Okay, and I'm going to give them a, each a crafted log stool, or a customized log stool, just because I feel like they would use them to stand on to decorate the, the snowman. And probably, we could probably use some patterns or something to make it look like the, the snow figures have been rolled into place. Um, so maybe I'll have to come up with that probably a little later, but I feel like that's doable. And we've just got a couple of wooden boxes as well, customized into the dark wood. Uh, that we can probably put things on behind it as well. Maybe this is where we can put the ice sculptures. Because uh, it won't really matter if they melt here. <laughs> uh, and maybe these could be advertising the... Uh, 
the frozen bar that hopefully we'll create tomorrow. So there we go, that's a very, very simple build. It looks a bit better with kind of some decking here and a little bit of a market stall going on. And of course some trophies to win. And I really think we've made good use of these standees because it's not something we've, or oh, I definitely haven't used them very often. Um, and I've never been a huge fan of the way they look, but I think they look really cool and are perfect for this area and just make it a little bit more inviting. Uh, we could probably lay some paths and that to finish off later, but if you have any other ideas for this kind of castle enclosed snow building area, let me know. Now before we wrap things up, I finally have some red wrapping paper, yay! So we're gonna go craft some piles of gifts so we can just update the festive area down in the left, bottom left corner, but first! We need to get all of the cardboard boxes from the recycling bin. Okay, I think we've got quite a few cardboard boxes in here. Oh, and some cherry speakers for some reason. But we only need five cardboard boxes because we're only going to make five presents at the moment. Uh, so we'll just take five cardboard boxes out of here. I think the rest are pretty much cardboard boxes. Uh, actually, we can craft them in here. May as well make use of Tom Nook's facilities. It's not like we ever do that. <laughs> so we'll go and place these on the near the toy day sleighs. There we go. I definitely think that definitely adds so much more to the sleighs, doesn't it? It looks like they're being packed ready to go off and be delivered. With another pile there. There we go. So we've got quite a few presents and gift piles um, dotted around this area. Now maybe we should customize them. I don't know if they can be customized. Uh, they probably can, uh, just to make them look a little bit different. But I think that really does look like everybody's hard at work filling up the toy day sleighs with gifts ready for the deer to come out of their homes and deliver them. Um, so that's probably a good place to stop. The only thing left to do on this island that I hope Obviously, it's still to get a five-star island. I don't know how far away we are from that. I'm too scared to check. Uh, but basically, all we've got left to do is move in some two more deer and build a kind of an ice bar around the Able Sisters and make some kind of fashion shop, which hopefully we should be able to do tomorrow in time for the last day. And then we will check whether or not we've got a five star island, which I hope we have. So let me know any more ideas you have. We've still got a lot of open space, but maybe there's something we can come back to in the future. But really the goal is to get a five star island and we will check tomorrow to see if we're close to that. I, I, I guess we would have seen a Jacob's Ladder or a Lily of the Valley by now if we, if we did have a five star island, but who knows? Anyway, let me know any more ideas you have, especially for the snow building area or any other areas on the island. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to the patrons and the channel members. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.